Snow White. In a faraway kingdom, in rolling hills and sparkling rivers, lived a young princess named Snow White. With skin as white as snow, lips as red as a poppy, and hair as black as night, Snow White's beauty was legendary. But her true beauty showed from her kind heart and gentle spirit. However, in the castle walls resided another woman, the queen, Snow White's stepmother. This queen, known for her vanity and jealousy, had a magic mirror that spoke the truth. Every day, she would ask, mirror, mirror, on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? For many years, the mirror would reply, you are, your majesty. This pleased the queen very much, for she desired nothing more than to be the most beautiful in the land. One day, as the queen stood getting ready in front of the mirror, a scary response filled through the room. My queen, though you are fair, Snow White is far fairer than you. The queen's blood ran cold. Rage and envy filled her. How dare a mere child outshine her? Blinded by jealousy, the queen made a wicked plan to get rid of Snow White. She ordered her faithful huntsmen to take the princess deep into the forest and never return. The huntsman, who was kind-hearted and could not bear to harm the young princess, took her far into the woods but let her go, leaving her to find her way. Terrified, Snow White ran deeper into the forest, tears streaming down her face. The trees whispered and the birds chirped, but all she felt was fear and loneliness. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows, Snow White stumbled upon a charming little cottage. The cottage was so tiny and cute that it seemed to belong in a fairy tale. Exhausted and scared, Snow White knocked on the door, and when there was no answer, she quietly entered. Inside, she found a cozy, messy little home. There were seven small beds, a table filled with half-eaten bowls of porridge, and an array of tiny chairs. Snow White felt tired and hungry, so she decided to clean the cottage and prepare a meal for its inhabitants. She sang as she worked, and her voice was so sweet that it echoed through the woods. Meanwhile, the cottage's owners were not children but seven dwarfs who had been living there for years. They were miners who spent their days digging for precious gems. When they returned home that evening, they were surprised to find their cottage neat and clean and a delicious smelling meal waiting for them. The dwarves, known for their kindness and love for music, were surprised to see a young girl at their doorstep. But upon hearing her story, they welcomed her with open arms. The dwarfs felt sorry for Snow White and offered her a place to stay. She gladly accepted their kindness and soon became their friend. She helped with the cooking, cleaning, and tidying up, and the little cottage became a warm and happy home. Meanwhile, the queen, filled by her obsession with beauty, once again asked her magic mirror. To her anger, the answer remained the same. Snow White was still the fairest of them all. She learned from her magic mirror that Snow White was still alive and living with the dwarfs. This time, the queen wouldn't be stopped. Dressed as an old seller, the queen arrived at the cottage and offered Snow White a beautiful, shiny red apple. She tricked Snow White with a poisoned apple. Taking a bite, Snow White fell into a deep sleep. The dwarves, returning home to a very quiet cottage, found their beloved friend seemingly lifeless. Heartbroken, they carefully placed Snow White in her bed covered with flowers, vowing to protect her forever. News of Snow White's bad luck spread throughout the kingdom. A young prince, charmed by stories of her beauty and kindness, ventured deep into the forest. Reaching the clearing where the dwarves kept watch, he was mesmerized by the sight of Snow White sleeping peacefully in her bee. Drawn by a strange force, the prince leaned down and kissed Snow White. As if awakened by a magic spell, Snow White's eyes fluttered open. The kiss, a symbol of true love, broke the curse of the poisoned apple. 
The dwarves overjoyed, welcomed the prince into their midst. Soon, Snow White and the prince fell deeply in love, their bond stronger due to the hard times they had faced. The queen, very angry by yet another turn of events, stormed into the dwarves' cottage. But this time, the dwarves, alerted by the forest animals, were prepared. They chased the queen away, stopped her from harming Snow White ever again. Snow White and the prince, with the dwarves by their side, returned to the castle. Justice prevailed, and the kingdom celebrated the triumph of good over evil and the power of true love. Snow White, with her kindness and compassion, became a beloved queen, ruling the land with wisdom and grace. And so, the story of Snow White reminds us that even in the darkest of times, kindness, courage, and the love of good friends can overcome any obstacle. The End As always, visit us at www.readthetale.com for all your favorite tales and stories.